yeah, this game, very interesting. And probably the, the one game today that most people are going to be watching because it's a, a heated True. rivalry. Uh, Yankees are fighting to win the division. Uh, Boston is not. But uh, Boston always plays the Yankees tough. Uh, and uh, so the way I'm going to approach this game, look, Nestor Cortez is the is the known commodity here as far as the starting pitching is concerned. Uh, Cooper Criswell, not quite as well known, uh, but actually in my rankings, uh, I take the starting pitchers. I have about 300 of them and I rank them on a curve of 30. And actually I have Cooper Criswell ranked a little bit higher than Nestor Cortez. I have him on the curve of 30 rank 15. Well, I have Nestor Cortez ranked 19 uh, out of 30 on the curve. Uh, bullpen wise, the Yankees have a huge advantage. Uh, hitting wise, uh, actually have Boston with the slight advantage right now, which takes into consideration current form. Uh, but the way I'm going to go here, actually, if you look at Nestor Cortez, he has a long history against this Boston Red Sox team. Uh, and if you take a look at uh, Russell Deavers, how he's performed against Nestor Cortez in the past, he's actually hitting him quite well. So I'm going to kind of focus in on, on Devers here, uh, or Rafael Devers, not Russell, sorry. Uh, he's 415, and, and he's got a double and two home runs in those 15 at-bats. Uh, Devers is, is, is a mainstay in Boston's lineup, uh, and here's a little way that I like to approach batter props uh a lot of people like to do total bases uh total bases is nice but actually usually you're trying to get over one and a half and usually you're only going to get four at bats in one game so to get two total bases you either have to hit a double in one of your four at bats or you have to hit two singles uh or a home run which is highly unlikely because most batters only hit one home run every 25 to 30 at bats so uh i like hits runs rbis uh, much better because with hits runs rbis uh you can get a hit uh but also uh you can get you can score by getting a walk uh with total bases walks don't count uh so you lose one of your four at bats in the game if your batter walks and and it's total wash uh for your prop uh but with hits, runs, RBIs, if your guy walks, he can get knocked in and it counts as a run. So it can still contribute to your prop. So today I like Russell. Uh, Ra- I keep calling him Russell. I don't know why. Maybe I'm thinking Russell Wilson, but <laughs> Raphael Devers. I like Raphael Devers plus one and a half hits, runs, RBIs in this game because of his nice history against Nestor Cortez. And actually, Nestor Cortez. I mean, look, he might come out and pitch a complete gem today, but frankly, I find I find Cortez to be highly overrated. If he played for the Tampa Bay Rays or uh, if he played for the Minnesota Twins, probably no one would even know his name, but because he plays for the Yankees and he's in the starting rotation, everyone knows his name. He's 9-10 and 10 with a 3.97 ERA, nothing to write home about, uh, a one one five whip, which is nice, but... Let's face it, if he played for the Minnesota Twins, nobody would know his name. Uh, I like Rafael Devers to get the over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs today. Uh, That's my play in the Boston and New York game today. And so what the Detroit office came up with was, hey, since you're number one in profit in MLB and you're number one in all sports profit, maybe we should make you a package. So they did. Uh, So you can get the rest of the MLB regular season absolutely free. If you purchase my postseason MLB for, like you said, three dollars a day, uh, and you can get the rest of my uh, regular season MLB for free, so two months of MLB action for under three dollars a day, uh, you can find that special at my page at wagertalk.com. Uh, the link right there, wt.buzz/tv. Uh, so go ahead and grab that deal.